Hello, welcome to this Transmission Tower 3D model tutorial. Today, I am going to show you how to create a gusset plate for two diagonals. We are going to create a joint connection between main leg and two bracing angles at elevation 3.698. On connection vault, select general bracing group, then select gusset for two diagonals tool. Click on main leg for the column selection then hit enter or right click to go to next step. Then click on horizontal angle for diagonal 1, press enter, and then select diagonal angle for the diagonal 2, finally hit enter. A gusset plate for two diagonals dialog box will be displayed. Now in order to make it easy to modify the joint, we are going to create a quick view on joint. On Advanced Steel Tool Palette, select Quick View on Joint Tool, then select Gusset Plate then select the arrow symbol the yellow arrow, view from the left, then hit Enter three times if you don't want to change the depth extension value. Now move the current UCS to horizontal angle by using UCS at Object Tool. Then by using Rotate UCS around X, Y and Z tools in order to make X, Y plane parallel to Gusset Plate plane. Now we are going to modify annotative dimension style to use in this tutorial.
Right-click on the gusset plate and select Advanced Joint Properties from Context Menu. On Gusset Plate for Two Diagonals dialog box, select Gusset Plate tab. One distance diagonal one profile option is the distance between end of horizontal angle and the center line of the main leg. Back to dialog box, type 160 into dist diagonal. One profile field. And type one hundred sixty into dist. Diagonal, 2 profile field then check the gap between end of diagonal angle and the flange of the main leg. Plate arrangement is where you can add the gusset plate on one side or other side or two gussets on both side. Select one side option on plate arrangement field. Now switch to bolts tab. Where we are going to adjust the bolts connect gusset plate and horizontal angle first. In diameter field select 12 mm. Then in bolt type field select EN 14399-3. In 2. Number lines field, we type 3. Switch to bolt distance 1 tab, this one is used to modify the bolt distances for the first diagonal. Type 30 for distance diagonal bolt, and type 50 for intermediate distance and then type 30 for distance bolt gusset.
select edge option in settings for edge distance field, then type 25 into 4, edge distance. Switch to bolt distance 2, we are going to adjust the bolts connecting diagonal angle and the gusset plate. Type 30 for distance diagonal bolt, and type 50 for intermediate distance and then type 30 for distance bolt gusset. On settings for edge distance, we select center line option, all bolts will be on the center axis. Now switch to projection tab. Type 5 into 1, projection field, and leave the rest as default. Switch to Project at Column tab, we are going to adjust the left edge of the gusset. The top left corner point one, and top right corner point two, are on the horizontal line, so that we must move the point one down 50 millimeters. So that we must move the top left corner down 50 millimeters. Go back to the gusset plate for two diagonals dialog box. Switch to project at column tab, then type minus 50 into 1. Projection field. The design distance between top left corner and lower left corner is 190. In order to get this distance value. We are going to move the left bottom corner up 95 mm. Right click on the gusset plate and select Advanced Joint Properties from Context Menu. Select Standard tab, the Select Project at Column Group. And type minus 95 into 2, Projection Field to make the lower left corner of gusset plate move up along the main leg axis 95 mm. Now go to Additional Connection tab, to add some bolts connect gusset plate in the main leg. On Connection Gusset, Main Beam Group, select Bolts option in the Connection Type field. Then select 12mm in the 1, Bolt Diameter field. Now switch to definition of bolts along group, where you can modify number and distance between two bolt along the main leg. And type 50 in 2, distance field for bolt group 1 and, type 50 in 4, distance for bolt group 2. Then we are going to select a line from top option from on position of bolts along field. Switch to definition of bolts across, then uncheck create bolts on both side of the main beam option, and then type 50 into 1, distance and main beam. And type 2 into 2, number of bolts field, which will create one more bolts column.
check the distance between two bolts columns, and the distance between the left row toward the gusset edge, it must be 50. Next we are going to insert one more bolt row, lying below the first row, for horizontal angle manually. Navigate to Advanced Steel Tool Palette, then select Bolts anchors, holes on Plate Tool. Then click on Gusset Plate and press Enter, and then click Horizontal Bracing Hit Enter to show the dialog box. We only need one row of bolts so that, type 1 into Y field. Then type 50 into intermediate distance between two bolts. And then input 80 as offset value along X, and the input 12.5 as offset value along Y. Now we are going to open the bolts dialog box to edit some information such as bolts diameter, type, dot, etc. Let's right click on the bolt and select Advanced Properties from Context menu. We are going to select 12 mm for the bolts diameter. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.